show it's longer than the, the lingual for differentiation purposes. Deep inside there is the maxillary, temporal, and occipital arteries, all branches off of the external carotid. Here we see the vertebral running through the bones. And that's going to go through the foramen magnum, and it's going to meet up with the internal carotid. So in here, the two vertebrals come up through the foramen magnum, okay, and they're going to come together and form the basilar. And the basilar is then going to supply blood here to the cerebral arterial circle or the circle of Willis. Circle Willis is also going to receive blood from the two internal carotids. Now you really can't see them because they're coming up through the carotid canal and they're going to hit the bottom. Right? So right below these two points is where the two internal carotids attach to the circle of Willis. So now the circle is supplied with blood and it's going to distribute blood to the cerebrum, posterior cerebral, middle cerebral, anterior cerebral arteries, supplying blood to the cerebrum. There's also blood going to the cerebellum. So we have, you can see some large vessels coming off of the basilar and then maybe another large vessel coming off of the vertebral. The larger ones that are here would be cerebellar arteries supplying the cerebellum. And then the little tiniest ones coming off of the basilar, those would be the pontine there supplying the pons. Uh, there is a little tiny one that goes down the back of the spinal cord. Well, actually, it's this one here. I'll put the sticker on. It's actually going along the front of the spinal cord. That's the anterior spinal. It's in between the two vertebrals.